City of Sims is in the search for a police chief, the first of their new police force. The city council unanimously passing an ordinance to form a police department. NBC 15's Justin Moore joins us now. Justin, the mayor says it's time for the fast growing city to protect and serve its own. That's right, Greg. Uh, this four page ordinance giving the mayor permission to accept applications for that chief's position. We have a lot of residents and not enough police. Ashley Howard says she dialed 911 for mobile deputies a couple of times while living in Sims. It may take an hour, you know, for them to, to get there if it's what they don't deem to be, you know, I guess a, an emergency situation. Currently, the city of Sims pays Mobile County $1.6 million to patrol the city of more than 20,000 people. It's time for us to take control over our own public safety. Sims Mayor Brandon Van Hook says he's sticking by his campaign promise to start a police department. Just days ago, Sims City Council unanimously passed an ordinance to establish one. Now the next step is to hire a chief. So how much will a police department cost? You know what? We don't know. We, we, we won't know how much it costs until we... Um, we we don't know how much it costs until we get the chief hired, until they get into everything. Former Mayor David Baker said it would cost more to start a police department than paying Mobile County for deputies. According to Hook, other cities similar in size spend $1.2 to $1.5 million on police, which is cheaper than paying Mobile County. Although after the police department is formed, the chief would also have the task of contracting a jail in the area like Mobile Metro to house inmates. I think if they was willing to pay $11,000 for a moon pie in Mobile, we should be willing to pay our police. The mayor says most of the city's revenue comes from sales tax and there are no plans to increase taxes. Folks in Sims say cost is not a factor. Be willing to pay a little bit more because we need the protection. Establishing a new police department comes at a time many police officers are under fire. I asked him what measures are being taken to ensure incidents like George Floyd won't happen in Sims. We can't ensure anything when it comes to the police department. Um, you know, Sims is a community that has been known to stay together and be together and thrive together and grow together. And I think with a, with a, a police department, I think that'll just enhance that for everybody. Now the mayor says it will take about a year and a half before the police department is fully formed and operational. But the city is taking applications for chief of police right now. Kim?